The United States Marine Corps has been an integral part of the US Armed Forces since the founding of the Continental Marines in 1775. During their long history, they have been vital in their role of amphibious and expeditionary warfare. In order to join the US Marines, one must be a US citizen or resident alien, be between the ages of 17 and 20 years, and those aged 17 needing parental consent and to have a high school diploma, with officers needing a bachelor's degree. Both men and women are permitted to join the Marine Corps, however women are unable to join in combat roles such as infantry, artillery and tank crew commanders. The first stage to joining the Marines is to pass the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test and pass a medical exam. The ASVAB consists of 10 short tests covering world knowledge, paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, mathematics knowledge, general science, auto and shop information, mechanical comprehension, electronics information, numerical operations and coding speed. The minimum score to join the Marine Corps is 32 and the score you get will determine the roles in the Marine Corps you are eligible for, known as their military occupational speciality. Following on from this, the next step is to go to a 13 week long boot camp. These boot camps take place in Marine Corps recruit depots located in Paris Island, South Carolina or San Diego, California and the one you are sent to depends on where you live. Upon arrival at boot camp, you will need to undertake the receiving phase. This three day phase consists of filling out paperwork, getting vaccines and haircuts, and taking the initial strength test, where males will have to complete either three pull-ups or 34 push-ups, 44 crunches, and a 1.5 mile run in under 13 minutes and 30 seconds. And females must complete either one pull-up or 15 push-ups, 44 crunches and complete a 1.5 mile run in under 15 minutes. In addition to this, recruits must complete a physical fitness test three more times during training. This constitutes the same push-ups, pull-ups and crunches as during the initial strength tests, but substitutes the 1.5 mile run for a 3 mile run, with the requirements depending on the recruit's age. However, from 2020 recruits will be able to substitute crunches for planks. The receiving phase of boot camp ends with Black Friday, where recruits meet their drill instructors and their company commander. The remainder of boot camp consists of four phases. Phase one lasts for three weeks, four weeks including receiving week, and its purpose is to break down the recruit from their civilian self to introduce them to their new military life. This is done through heavy instruction and strict discipline. In addition to classes about the history of the Marine Corps and its culture, the recruits are taught more practical skills such as drill, martial arts and familiarisation with their rifle. Physical fitness is also a heavy part of this phase in order to get all the recruits fit enough to carry out the rest of their training and their duty post training. Phase 1 ends with an inspection by a senior drill instructor and a drill competition between platoons. Phase 2 marks the beginning of week 4 of training and begins with a swim week, 4 days of water survival qualifications, a 25 metre swim, a 10 foot jump followed by a 25 metre swim, 4 minutes treading water, removing their helmet, vest and rifle in under 10 seconds and a 25 metre swim with a pack. If a candidate fails this stage once, they must join a different company and restart training. Two fails requires an evaluation of whether they be given a third chance or to be sent home. Week 5 of training is known as Team Week and focuses on physical fitness and consists of long drills, strength and endurance courses. It also focuses on teamwork, unaccompanied by drill instructors and lessons in interior guard, and the week ends with their first physical fitness test and a 5km hike. Week 6 begins with a physical fitness test, and during this week recruits will learn how to use a bayonet, complete a written exam on what they have covered previously in training, and be able to rappel down a 60 foot tower. Week 7 marks the start of Phase 3 and is known as Grass Week. Recruits from the San Diego Depot are bused to the Marine Corps Base Camp in Pendleton. This week is where the recruits learn to fire their M16 rifles from four positions, sitting, prone, kneeling and standing, as well as using a scope. This week ends with a 6km hike. Week 8 involves more marksmanship and requires recruits to shoot at targets from 200, 300 and 500 yards with them having a test at the end of the week in order to gain their marksmanship badges. Once again, the week ends with a hike, this one being 13 kilometers. Week 9 requires the recruits to navigate using a map and compass and ends with another marksmanship test from 25 yards. The combined scores from the two shooting tests will be added to qualify the recruits as marksman, sharpshooter or expert. 
The final stage of training, phase 4, begins around week 10 and begins with a second written exam and the recruits having to endure the confinement chamber, an enclosed building filled with CS gas in which recruits must complete a number of tasks wearing their gas masks and eventually removing their mask. The final test of training takes place on week 10 and is known as the Crucible. A 54-hour field training exercise including 48 miles of marching during which recruits are given two MREs and are allowed six hours of sleep. For this test, the recruits are split into small teams and each allocated a drill instructor. Physical and mental challenges must be completed by the teams during this test such as obstacle courses, assault courses, patrols and navigation courses. Teamwork is crucial during the Crucible as if one member of the team fails, they all fail. The Crucible ends with a march up the Reaper to the top of the Edson's Ridge, and when this is completed, drill instructors will offer the recruits the Eagle Globe and Anchor, or EGA emblem, which gives them the title Marine. Week 11 includes the recruits' final uniform fitting, a blood drive, and a visit to the Marine Corps Museum. They will also undertake their physical fitness test, and have their final martial art test to earn their tan belt. Week 12 is graduation week and focuses around practicing their graduation and includes a final inspection from the commander. Family day takes place on the last full day before graduation and all the recruits' families come to the base and the recruits are able to spend most of the day on base with them. The next morning, the recruits from their graduation ceremony march across the parade deck and are dismissed from training by their senior drill instructors. Following this, the Marines receive 10 days leave before returning to the School of Infantry at either SOI East at Camp Geiger or SOI West at Camp Pendleton. Non-infantry Marines will attend a course called Marine Combat Training for 29 days, then proceed to the appropriate school for their military occupational speciality, whilst infantry Marines attend the Infantry Training Battalion for 59 days. After this, the Marines will be assigned to their first unit. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If this video interested you then I'd recommend you check out some of the other videos on screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.